There's a condition, some children get, they call it a cushion defect. What does that mean? Well, cushion defects or endocardial cushion defects um, are, are another relatively common form of congenital heart disease. It, they are particularly common in children with Down syndrome. So 50 to 70 percent of children with Down syndrome will have congenital heart disease and the majority of those children will have some type of endocardial cushion defect uh, or atrioventricular canal which is another uh, term that we use for the same type of problem. These type of defects occur in many different forms. No two are exactly the same but they do fit into two broad categories. There's the category where there's a large hole in the wall between the upper and lower chambers of the heart. And in those children, repair is generally necessary relatively early in life because they behave the same way a large hole in the wall between the bottom chambers of the heart would behave, and they generally don't get smaller with time. And the second broad category are the ones who have predominantly a hole in the wall between the upper chambers of the heart. And those holes will behave more like a hole in the wall between the upper chambers of the heart, and those children will generally uh, have a more benign course, and surgery in many of them can be delayed till after they're a year or 18 months of age. Prognosis is usually? The prognosis for patients with endocardial cushion defects is excellent. Uh, it, but patients can have a normal life and a normal activity for them. Of course, some of them may be limited by their Down syndrome, if, if in fact they do have that. Um, but uh, in terms of their heart, uh, the, the, the repair should be, um, in most cases, able to be accomplished uh, with a very low risk and with an excellent quality of life. But patients with endocardial cushion defects also have imperfect valves inside the heart. And so, although their prognosis is excellent, they do have some risk of needing further surgery on their valves as they get, they get older. Usually that surgery is going to be a repair, not a valve replacement, and usually their quality of life will be excellent and their activity will be excellent. Thank you very much.